Yeah, Tesla, same idea. 194.50 is just the re, what do you call it? The re-engagement level. So we get back up, can't stay above 194.50, and now it's a fade. This is tougher though, 187.61, roughly this 186. Remember how long we kind of stayed in this channel and then got back and stayed in this channel? So we're heading back down to this channel. So Whack, just snaking around. Tesla puts still coming in. 186 is just a typical magnet. So let's just see if we can uh, push those moves a little bit more. I know it's only 10, 11 minutes in. Typically, the, you get 15 minutes in that kind of opening sequence, and then it reverses by 10. But, you know, for now, right? Like it's not really wanting to push through below 187.61. In fact, the low is 187.85. So <laughs> there's a there's a natural magnet even below 186 because here we got uh, 183.81 is gap. Yeah, it, it's got support right here. This 187.61 has to break that. Now we're just going sideways. On a shorter duration, 198.205. Let's call it 187 to 180. We're literally very, very close to breaking down and hitting this gap fill, gap fill of 184. I still like the 184 better because it's not only a gap fill on the hourly, so it just needs a little shove through 186, but it's not just a gap fill on the hourly, but it's also the 55. So like literally the same level, 183.81, it's a gap fill and it's a 55. So I like that one. You know this 194.50, I don't know how tight your time frame is, but that's rejection. Be lovely, really lovely to keep going. Now, right here, right now, below this 187.61, I like, I like a lot. You got a gap fill here of 183.81. Interesting gap fill. It's literally an hourly gap fill and a prior daily high. So I like this as a price target on the short term. Just got a breakthrough here, 187.61. You know the 186 is a magnet. Been playing that level so well, so well. Breaks below it. Tag your it a few times, breaks above it. So 186 is definitely a, a, a level where once it gets below, you have a much more wind at your back short, but you're also back in the shop. So intraday, it looks fine. You know, the weakness looks fine, but uh, it's not going to go anywhere fast until it breaks this 187.61.